Hey everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm here with Tracy Ching. Welcome to the last day of the, the stream. The last day. I know. Sad time. It is sad. Chat, how are you feeling about the last day of this creative campaign? Are you as sad as we are? We have four designers here this week. Every Tuesday through Thursday, we do a different event. This week is Creative Campaign, where we have uh, designers designing a creative conference. So you are our resident in-house illustrator for the week. Yeah. And you have been tasked with creating <laughs> some imagery and illustration, kind of a hero image for mm -hmm. the conference. And maybe we can look at some of your artwork and you can introduce yourself to the chat members that don't know you yet. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, as she mentioned, Tracy Chang. I'm an illustrator out of Washington, D.C., um, freelance and mm -hmm. have been for a couple of years. Uh, most people know me from my alternative movie posters, which uh, tend to take the form of silkscreen. But... I dabble here and there in editorial design and a couple of other things, mm -hmm. so thanks for joining us. Yes, thanks for being here. Tim says hello. Rob is here again, <laughs> DC Rob. hype. Yes, fellow DC native, DC liver. DC resident? Resident, not liver, that's gross. <laughs> um, we also have a challenge for you today. Chat's the last challenge of the week and we are challenging you to create the t-shirt designs for this conference. So all day we've been looking at different submissions and they've been awesome. The awesome submissions. Mm -hmm. There's lots of them that I would like to wear. I'm a graphic t-shirt fan. Mm. So we have a couple that we need to look at from Jessica's stream, but we'll look at those in a couple minutes. But you'll find more information about the challenge at be.net slash live. Click on the challenge tab and it has a template with a t-shirt to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, there's also information on the schedule and information on Tracy. Tracy, <laughs> Tracy. It's all if, the same. <laughs> if you want to learn more about her, so come over to be.net slash live. It's the best way to interact with us. Give awesome. us Tracy's portfolio link. It's just tracyching.com. Yes. I'm apparently the only one. So it's the it's lover of ham. Me. The only one. The only one. So maybe we can talk about what you worked on the first day, the second day, and what you'll work on today. Yeah, the, the first day uh, we did a little showcasing of how uh, the cross hatching uh, sort of comes into being uh, with the uh, both positive and negative overlay and the second day we worked on some custom brush creation mm -hmm. both for patterns and just uh, brushes for making the marks you want to make if you want to do engraving or you can apply it to any other kind of brush or mark making you'd like and today is just a race against the clock to try <laughs> and even have something resembling finished. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the game plan today is to, to get it somewhere resembling <laughs> Complete. All right. So let's see if we can crank this out. Mm. All right, cool. And chat, this is your last time to chat with Tracy. So if you have questions, I'll volley them over to her while she works. Yes. And let us know. And while you're kind of knocking this out, maybe I can pull up some of these t shirt submissions and we can look at yes. them. Yes. We should look at these t shirts. So I love this. This is, this is my selfie t shirt. <laughs> so clever. Looking in a mirror so and it would be funny. read the right way. Yes. Nice job, this is by Ashley. Really cool, simple design. Nice and simple. Yeah, yesterday Christine, I, or maybe it was you, said one of the t-shirts was very Mondrian-esque, and I think I this think was that awesome. Was, yeah, I think that was Christine. Mm -hmm. I think it was Christine. This is by Majid. Do I, like I really that. like this. These dots. Did we ever think of the artist, the Japanese artist's name? I think her last name's I Kusama. Should... Yeah, yeah, yes. you're like Kusama. So this is what it reminds us of. Yeah, I love it. Or if you were a 90s kid, early early 2000s kid like me, it reminds me of The Cheat from Homestar Runner. Oh, oh if my anybody in chat goodness. knows that it Homestar, is. wow. Yeah, long past time ago. from the past. Mm -hmm. This one's by Laura, Create and Share. I actually really love this. <laughs> it's like a ransom note. Very cool. This is a black screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, smiley face with little eyebrows, using all of the shapes that Christine put together. Yes. In the library, oh, this is interesting. Create oh. and share. It kind of looks like the Photoshop, like a uh, transparency background. Yeah. The checkers. Interesting. Nice. This is Explore Design Connect. Oh, oh I like that. Yellow shirt. With that nice, strong black and yellow mm -hmm. that Jessica was using. Yep, exactly. Like then Bjorn, this is very cool. You can do it. 
Nice lettering. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Maybe if this was a little smaller on the back, because it's already such a statement on the front. Mm. Awesome. So nice job, everyone. You have about an hour to get your submissions in, and this is the last chance you have. So mm. make sure those submissions are in before 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, or else we can't help you. We're, yeah. We're also going to be able to do a giveaway in about 30 minutes. We're going to be giving away... Adobe Illustrator squishy pillow. pillow. So squishy. squishy pillow. There's the width. You can see <laughs> all of the specs. Uh, so all you have to do is be logged in on Behance. Be.net slash live is the best place to watch and interact and possibly win a giveaway. Do it. You won't regret it. Mm -mm. What's up, Leon? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Ooh, Mauricio has a question. Yeah. Um, they're wondering about negotiation, which I know you're represented by a larger company, so maybe they do most of the negotiation for you and the client dealings. Yes, now, yeah. uh, but starting out, that was not the case, and so it's a it's a really tough deal, kind of raw for artists. <coughs> Excuse me. You've been talking about it. <coughs> Gets me choked up. <laughs> um, yeah, unless you kind of have a really great idea of what pricing is like for what you do, um, mm -hmm. it's it's sort of like taking a shot in the dark. There are some really great um, resources out there. Um, there's one that I started using. I'm trying to remember. Um, it's I'm fairly certain it's the Design Guilds. The handbook. Yeah. Yeah. They. They also, somebody has a salary guide, mm -hmm. um, and that's really great. And so if you're trying to work like flat rate versus hourly, like, there are tools out there, and there are definitely a lot more now than there used to be. Yeah. So um, it's great to sort of see what the what the industry standard tends to be so that you're not kind of being taken out, you know, for a ride, mm -hmm. let's say. Um, but right. it's... You're not doing anyone a favor. Um, they're asking you to work, so don't be afraid to ask for what you know that you're worth. Right. Um, and if somebody wants to try to undercut you or gives you that that great expression, it'll be great for exposure. exposure. You just you need to walk away. Me too. Um, because unless it's a project <laughs> you care about, if it's for a cause or mm -hmm. it's for family or friends, um, the exposure excuse is a really sort of like cheap ploy to get you to work for free. And yes. this is our job. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't ask my doctor to like work because I have I have brand recognition and it will be great for exposure for mm -hmm. your. That's not how it works. So, no. um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask uh, for what you know that you're worth. Um, and that's probably mm. the, the piece of information I would have liked getting started. Yeah. Nice. I hope that's helpful. Please ask other questions. Yes, because you questions. you have experience as non-represented and with representation yes. and all kinds of different fields: graphic design and illustration, mm -hmm. print, digital. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of everything. Yeah, all trades. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you're working on the hair now. Yeah, just trying to fill out some of the space mm -hmm. uh, so they have a little bit of contrast. Um, work with and then I'll start moving the uh, cross hatching in as we can. Oh so wow. Here's hoping that that's that. what happens. Mm -hmm. Gary, where can you download the templates needed for the challenge? If you go to the challenge tab at be.net slash live, there is a link to download a Photoshop file. And if you download it and just drag it into your Photoshop, that might be the easiest way to get it open. Uh, William wants to know, do you ever turn down jobs from your agent? Yes. Uh, Every day. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, just because I can. Uh, no, the sometimes it'll be because the deadline doesn't work, sometimes because it seems like it's not a good fit, or um, sometimes the client seems like they're crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, because it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a judgment call. Um, and it sort of comes and goes. But uh, yeah, there are definitely times where I, I say no to a job for various reasons. Most of the time, though, it's because I I have a, a, something conflicting in my schedule. Gotcha. But yeah, there are definitely times where I'm just like, this is not a good fit for me. Um, and then sort of what we talked about yesterday, which is just kind of 
making a recommendation on to who to search for if I have somebody in mind. Um, oh, yeah. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Ooh, Joe, that's a great point. Um, he was trying to mess around with your style last mm -hmm. night and yeah. was a little bit lost. So he's wondering if you have if you know of any brushes to download or any tips on how to get the tapered look to your brushes. Um, you know, I haven't I haven't ever looked to see if there are any sort of available brushes online mm -hmm. that, that do this. Um, Right. If, maybe if you watch the replay from yesterday, Joe, if you go to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I demo very, very quickly mm -hmm. um, and in a bridged way uh, how to create a tapered brush and yes. how that looks. And so it's, uh, that was the issue is when I got started, I couldn't find anything that sort of dealt with brushes of this nature. And mm -hmm. so I just ended up making them because I knew what I needed. And then uh, over time kind of found uh, what worked. So. Yeah, you might be able to find some out there, but don't be afraid to just like experiment and see what you can come up with on your own because you know better than somebody else what what might work for what you're looking for. Totally. So. Yeah, Joe, and if you want to get started out easy and you have a smart phone or device, even a tablet, you can use Adobe Capture to make your own brushes just by drawing something or taking a picture of something and messing around with it within the brush so uh, cool. tool. So cool. So very do you ever do mobile illustration, like on iPad or anything? So I've been meaning to for the longest time, and I, when I went to Max, I saw a bunch of like, yeah, really great like Adobe Draw demos, and yeah. I'm like, I need to get in on that. But mm -hmm. uh, because I'm I'm so embedded in Vector, I found that we're still sort of like experimenting and developing in that way too. Mm -hmm. So like, I haven't made the the full leap to see if it was something that I could do, but right. I definitely want to fiddle with it soon. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned in in the last feed, I I just got like a whole bunch of like new equipment, yeah, new programs you leveled to up. fiddle with. So I'm kind of still uh, dealing with that learning curve. Mm -hmm. So yeah, hopefully soon I'll be able to to see what's out there. Cause yeah, uh, Dan Mumford and and Rob. our man Rob mm -hmm. are like mobile wizards, and I'm like, oh man, that looks so cool and looks so convenient to just yeah. be able to like make these digital illustrations like on the go because um yeah it's not like i can sit in front of my computer all the time with the the babies running around so having yeah some kind of mobile option would be amazing right it would definitely be a little more like drawing heavy yes drawing points and things like that so which is which is really appealing oh um, cool yeah just because i it's i like getting out of my comfort zone and i I've mentioned this before that I understand fully that it's a very bad habit that I don't do a lot more analog drawing and mm -hmm. it's something that I love to do and I want the opportunity to do more and I think that's where um, it would really help having some kind of experience with the awesome mobile apps that are out there for Heck digital yeah. drawing. So mm -hmm. hopefully soon. It'll happen. Rob will Must. force an iPad into your hands. <laughs> hey lady, try this this thing it's so cool yeah it. it is cool Heath wants to know do you have any tips on getting started in the alternative poster scene as an artist hmm. I have any tips um, it might be kind of like make the work that you want to make yeah um if you already aren't part of the community it's good to kind of see what's out there and then you can kind of find you know what niche you you like appeals to you right so right. um for me i got i got started because i was already buying the occasional um mondo prints when they were still working with the alamo draft house and so um, i got started there and then around the same time there was a lot of um like there were a couple of pop culture galleries that were getting started and spoke art was one that i followed a, a great deal and then eventually I wanted to be involved with them as an artist and reached out. So it's it's good to find where your own interests lie, mm -hmm. and then it's a lot easier to kind of um, use that as a roadmap on on where you might fit, um, what might appeal to you. So, yeah, definitely follow your own interests, your own passions, yeah. and most of the time it kind of just happens organically. But yeah, there are a lot of um, 
a lot of message boards out there, Facebook groups, yeah. um, and that kind of stuff. And yeah, don't be shy to actually show up to events, to screenings, or you know, San Francisco has a great scene here, mm-hmm. or Austin, or New York, or what have you. So right. Get that's, your hands dirty. Right. That's the beautiful thing about the internet is you can be a part of these communities too, even if you don't live in a big movie town or yeah, even just a print town. Print um, town. Print town. Only that was a thing. Right? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Anne says, kids plural? Yeah. Lots yeah. Of kiddos. All of the babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I had three under two. Woo. So. Anne did this. Yeah. <laughs> And continue to work mm-hmm. like a nut bar. Like a boss. Like a nut bar. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Full of nuts. <laughs> um, Rob said having kids is what converted him to working on mobile because it was so easy. Yes. And easy. and that's that's what I, I'm kind of drawn to because, yeah, you don't get a whole lot of quiet time as a no. parent. So it's nice to be able to double up and and have something a little less expensive than your, your really expensive, like, wake um somewhere where little tiny hands can reach it. Right. So, uh-uh. Yeah, no babies. They always have jelly on their hands, and I don't know why. Where it's do because they get this jelly? They're, where do they get it? They <laughs> hide it in the couch cushions. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up, DJF Design? How you doing? Chat, let us know if this is your first time tuning in or if this yeah. is your first time today. We'd love to say hello to you. We love seeing new names in the chat, as well as our old friends. We can commiserate. I'm new. Woo! You're not new anymore. This is your third. Third time's a charm. Third day, Mm -hmm. but first time live streaming. True. Very true. Also, chat, would you be interested in live streaming? Have you ever done it on Instagram or Twitch or YouTube? Yeah. Let us know. This is Mike's first time checking out something like this. Laura says, I'm old here. (laughs) You're a classic, Laura. (laughs) Rob, you are not a first-timer. What are you talking about? Oh, Rob, full of lies. (laughs) Brian says, I'm looking at Tracy's portfolio. Nice, Brian. Let us know which one you like the most. (laughs) Jan Eric, it's my first time tuning in. Is this live? (laughs) This is live? You troll. (laughs) Uh, Gary, I'm still here from earlier. Awesome, you stuck around. Wow. We love that. Dedication. Mm Mm-hmm. Jim says, I'm just here for the pillow. Aren't we that's all? That's fair. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm here, too. Hopefully I just I just intend to steal it when I leave today. You're like, so. all right, just put on new shirt. Bye. New shirt. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> uh, just kidding, guys. Anaga, how, many, how frequently are there live chats like this? You are in luck, my friend, because Adobe Live is pretty much every single week from Tuesday to Thursday. So yeah, uh, we are located in San Francisco, so we're pretty much streaming during work hours, pretty much over here. But uh, we love to have you all here, and we love being here frequently on the rig. All of the time. Mm-hmm. You can check the schedule to see what's coming up uh, next, and participate in chat and let us know what you'd like to see. Simon, I'm here for the first time live today. Really, Simon? I thought I saw you yesterday. I guess that means that anything that somebody with that name might have won from previous <laughs> previous streams just doesn't need it then. So True. Daniel says, Tracy, can you live stream more? I have so much more to learn. I would love to. Ooh. It's something I've been meaning to do for the longest time, which is why I was so excited to accept your invitation here. Because mm-hmm. I get I get asked often to to do more tutorials and how to's, and it's something I definitely have been meaning to do, but it just it slips my mind. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think it slips your mind. I think there's just a lot going on. As a parent of three, a great deal slips my mind yes. these days. Mom I'm lucky I showed up here on time. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> no, there there is the intention to do a, a lot more of this in terms of tutorials and what have you. So make sure you subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud, Ooh. Adobe Create, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll pop up at some point. Who knows? Yeah. Keep your eyes open, chat. Uh, Hafid, is this the last session? Is there any streaming after party? I don't know, you tell us. Streaming after party? What does that entail? This isn't enough. <laughs> I know, right? Aren't you guys tired? Nope. 
<laughs> no, but they're in it. I take it you all are freelance? <laughs> yeah, right. There's a lot of people who say, like, I'm at work, you're on my second monitor, or I'm, I'm listening through my headphones. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. I had to work for myself to get any kind of, like, time to do that kind of stuff. Right. Because I, uh, before I went freelance, I worked for, um, a, an asso a trade association that doesn't technically exist anymore, but they're involved in uh, machine tool distributors. What? <laughs> Which is as riveting as it sounds. Riveting? Um, just <laughs> li quite literally <laughs> dealing with rivets. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I they didn't understand, like, professional development and design way. They're like, why are you watching YouTube? Like, it's not cat time. I'm like, no, I'm watching how to make this thing that you asked me to do. Right. But That yeah. you expect me to know how to do. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so how long were you there? Um, so it was, so I was with um, AMTDA for a couple of years. That's where I got my start. Loved mm -hmm. them to death. Um, but they got um, sort of like, um, there was like a merger between gotcha. another... Uh, machine tool association in the There's area. There's so many. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that that environment was not the same, and so I chose to leave shortly after that merger, just because oh. it wasn't it was not the place for me. Yeah, that's too bad when that happens. It was such a bummer because I loved my coworkers at AMTDA so much. Mm -hmm. They were the best. Oh. Um, but yeah, after that, it was a really clear sign that it was time to make that jump because I was. I had more work than I could handle at that time, and so it was just like, all right, time to go. Mm -hmm. See ya. And then I got to do the great, like, here's my two weeks notice, and then I'm out. Yep. And so, like, that was great. <laughs> I didn't mic drop like I'd wanted to, because I was kind of like, okay, maybe don't burn all of the bridges. Yeah, do it uh, the right way. <laughs> at least you're getting out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so many people are saying, yeah, I'm at work right now, or you're on my second monitor. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's nice, especially if you are freelancing or even an in-house designer, but yeah. it's nice to have other people talking about creative stuff. Yeah, sort of like a podcast, but not like a podcast. Could be. It's just audio and visual. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the visuals. So that works for me. Kaylin says, I work from home and I'm watching the stream while my littles use my desk as a fort. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Kaylin. I used to do that too. Really? But I, had, um, I had drawers like underneath uh, the desk I used to have. Mm -hmm. And so there were like these really sharp corners. And so after she hit a certain height, that was that was no longer an option because then I just like ended up leaving one hand down there to act as like the little bumper, the buffer. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you're like, I need these though. <laughs> that ended quick. <laughs> that ended real quick. quick. Ooh, Lul <laughs> Lulia. Yulia has a great question. Mm. What artists and designers inspire you? And I know you showed some inspiration yesterday. Yeah. So um, Chad Michael Studios was the person I, I gave a, a shout out to. He doesn't know me, so it's not like I'm like, go check out my bud. No, he's just Chad, awesome. Chad, you here? <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, he's uh, amazing. Um, if you like, if you think my line work is good, you should go Google Aaron Horky. Ooh. That man is unnatural. Just un unnatural. Horky. I, I like my pride and joy of the print collection is owning his uh, "There Will Be Blood" print. Whoa! It is bananas. So good. I definitely took a job with a client because they were they were um, poster sellers, oh. and I'm like, I will make I will do this commission for you if you give me that print. And <gasps> really? so I, I technically worked worked for a trade. But I'm, I'm fairly certain I got the better end of that deal. Wow, this is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful design. Yeah, isn't that bananas? Yeah. It's so good. I wonder how big it was. Like, oh, it was tiny. His initial sketch, he it's, it's what? like this. It's like super small. No. Like probably not like, but it's it's teeny. And then they Holy blow it up moly. after. What? Yeah, he's oh, so unnatural. That is unnatural. So good. So not fair. When I first saw that movie, it was right after I got a bunch of teeth pulled, and I was like a little bit goofy. <laughs> and I was watching it, and I was just like, "That's a weird choice." And I had a milkshake, and he's like, "I'm gonna drink your milkshake," and I was like, "No, oh, it's here. mine. Don't come through the TV with that straw." I pull that line with my husband all the time. He's <laughs> Good. Like, and I come all the way over here and drink your milkshake. Don't and touch then my I milkshake. Do. <laughs> and then I do. And then I drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. That's yeah. awesome. 
Uh, Rob also says Mark Summers is a great inspiration. Yes, yeah. That's a good one. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Helping a lady out. For sure. And we also have um, a resident Adobe artist, Brian Yap. He does awesome mobile illustrations that are similar. They they often have this hatching Ooh, fun. half tone, but it's almost exclusively made in Adobe Illustrator Draw. Ooh, see that's cool. I need to I need to watch his live stream. Mm -hmm. Get some of those Illustrator Draw tips. Yep. Luckily, it's very intuitive. Awesome. Oh man, giveaway hype. Yes, we have four minutes giveaway. until we will be giving away this. Think fast. <laughs> what if though? What if I really? <laughs> uh, this Illustrator pillow. Since Tracy is our Illustrator expert, we thought it would be fitting to give away an Illustrator pillow. Yay. And if you don't win that in a couple minutes, we'll have another giveaway at 2.30. Mm. Mm -hmm. Doubling down. Yep. Why are you being so out of ducks and editing and clipping that? Because you're a nut bar. Did I use it right? <laughs> Who am I to say? It's your thing. Who am I to say? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Rob says, I have an entire wall of Brian Yap's work. That's awesome. I have his snake and shoes print. Snake and shoes? Snake and shoes. That sounds amazing. Snake and shoes. It's pretty much what it exactly sounds Exactly what like. it sounds like. Yeah, maybe you can find it. Maybe not. I almost spelled snake like snack. Snack, snack and cheese. <laughs> we know where your brain is. Yeah, maybe. Although I had some delicious pho for lunch, so mm. I'm pretty full. I'm a full girl. Yum, yum. <laughs> uh, Julie, hey guys, just tuning in. Hope I can stick around. Hey, Julie, thanks for being here. Please do stick around. So I attempted to get like ramen for lunch. Attempted, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, said it was open, Ooh. showed up, door was locked. Classic. That was not cool. Oh man. And I like went out to that neighborhood like specifically just for to it. Have ramen. No. I was just like, I feel like a butt. <laughs> feel like a nut bar. I'm gonna yelp about this later. <laughs> <laughs> was it on Yelp that you found the hours? Yes. They lied to you. But then it was it was confirmed by Google. You know, they have like the, uh, whatever. <laughs> no ramen for me. Darn. Did you eat? Yes, but not ramen. Oh. Well, I like ramen. Shoot, maybe ramen for dinner then. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Vengeance ramen. Yep. You can eat it with a smug I'm smirk. I'm not going to eat at your establishment. Mm -mm. <laughs> Caitlin says, we can scream into the illustrator pillow when the program won't cooperate. Sure can. It's the perfect size too. It's like face. For a screaming pillow? <laughs> yeah. And it's thick enough. It'll really muffle the noise. Muffle it. Oh, that's genius, Caitlin. I remember the days before auto recovery um, for Illustrator. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of like stifled screaming yes. at the time. My husband always like he always knew when Illustrator crashed because I made this like really specific like in like intake sound like this like mm -hmm. it was like really angry and really quick and then yeah. followed by like some kind of grunt or like <laughs> growl and he's like oh no did it I was like. Yes. Adobe did it again. I was like, I need to leave right now <laughs> yeah. because, I mean, I had no one else but myself to blame for not True. saving, yeah. but I was still like, you know what? I'm done. Done. I'm done. Done for five minutes. Done. <laughs> then you come back. Uh, Gary Cooper, the Rage font quit. is Campton, I believe. Yes. Yes, Rage it quit. is Campton. Mm -hmm. Adobe Dunk Tank Baseballs. Daniel, what are you talking about? Heck? We should make baseballs for a dunk tank. I'd be down. Down with it. It's Adobe. Warm, warm enough here for a dunk tank. Mm hmm. It's January. It should not be like 70 degrees. Isn't outside. it bonkers? It's so weird. Like coming from the East Coast or the yeah. Midwest, I'm like, what month is it? I left DC <laughs> and it was like 30 degrees. Yes. <laughs> and exactly. then I got here and I'm like, it's hot. I'm hot. Yeah. It's hot right now. Mm -hmm. what, what's happening? It's, totally. What month is it? I like don't wear a coat and I walk outside and people are wearing like full on parkas with goose down and their Uggs and I'm like, but why? <laughs> I was told if you walk around without a coat of some sort, like a, like a jacket, like a light jacket, mm -hmm. um, people will know you're a tourist. Yeah. 
So if, like, you're, if you're like out in like your sweatshirt or mm-hmm. whatever, and you're not wearing a, a light jacket of some yes. sort, it's the look. They'll know. They'll mm-hmm. know you're not from here. True. Oh, Hafid, something is happening in five, four, three, two, one. It's the giveaway. <gasps> yes, you've got it. Get the chat hype going mm-hmm. fast and strong because you can have the chance to win this Adobe Illustrator pillow. Da, 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 da. All you have to do is log in on Behance. Go to be.net slash live. That's where we live. That's where we are. Come on over. Uh, say something in chat, and that's how you get entered. It's the giveaway. It's that easy. We just we love your interaction, and we want to we wanna gift you for it. Be our friend. Yes, Engage please. With us. We like that engagement. And then Adobe will work a little bit of magic, pick a random winner, which will appear in front of us. Very soon. Ooh, Through I see magic. it. Yes, Adobe Magic. I see another Kathleen in chat. What's up, Kathleen? <laughs> That's me. It's actually your doppelganger. <gasps> Please no. <laughs> I don't want Black Mirror to be a real thing. You find out that you're actually the evil one. Well, I'm actually the hologram, and I just live in all of your computer screens. What? Magic. What Whoa! What? <laughs> it just dropped out of the sky. It always hits me right on the tip of the nose. It's always like it's oh. almost like the universe does that on purpose. Because it knows it's gonna be real cute. <laughs> All right. right, the winner of the Adobe Illustrator pillow is. It is Natalia, and I want to say it's Manich. Manich, Natalia, Nash. you are the winner. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Here you go. Congrats. Heads up. Here comes. Here comes. Uh, Adobe Live team on Behance will be messaging you ASAP, so do not uh, ignore your messages, because mm. that'll be important. Yay! Congratulations, Natalia! Yay! And if you didn't win, no worries. In another 30 minutes, we'll be giving away this Adobe mobile charger. Ooh. And Fancy. that go. An Adobe Illustrator lapel pin. So nice right enamel pin. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Natalie says, this cannot be the truth. <laughs> oh, it is. Your name. It's on this post-it, I it's promise. on it. We lie. I we wouldn't lie you. to you. No. We wouldn't lie to you. Why would we? It'd be unfair. Mm-hmm. So you have about 30 minutes chat to get your submissions in for the daily challenge. We are challenging you to design the t-shirt for this fictional creative conference that all four of our designers were working on this week. So Tracy is the illustrator on the team, working on the uh, kind of masthead illustration. Whatever I'm doing. This is what it is. <laughs> Whatever it is. Got to have some imagery. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, and this is the last challenge of the week, so make sure you get those submissions mm-hmm. in before 2.30 or else out of luck. Oh, so you God. could, yeah, right? So you could have the chance to win a free year of Creative Cloud if you are the winner. Uh, what? Yes, I know. Um, I'll get some of these open and we can yeah, flip through take a little bit of a preview. Some more. Let's do it. Did we already look at some? No, I don't think. I don't think oh, so. We oh, we did, did look through some of the ones from Jessica's, uh, like some in between. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I have some new ones open. Ooh, this is by Vishwesh. Really cute. Yeah, I like Layering. it. Nice job. This is by Carla and Chris. Cool. Ooh, it's like a little hat. Mm-hmm. Glasses. Hat, glasses, bow tie, <laughs> and I like it says be there or be square with the Behance logo. Nice. Someone's having a nice time yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's real happy to be at work. Yep. So this is by David. Kind of cool explosion happening over oh. here. Nice. It's by Tyrone. And if, correct me if I'm wrong, Tyrone, but don't you make t-shirts? <laughs> Isn't this your job? Yeah, so I saw a couple other submissions on your portfolio, but this is cool. Yeah. I like how you put it on an actual model. She's got a 10-pack. Yeah, she does. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but nice job, Tyrone. This is by Shiva. I really love this one. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. I like, like I've, I'm apparently gravitating towards the fun little shapes today. Right, yeah. I'm liking it. Very cool. And Shiva is from Athens, Ohio. Oh, cool. Nice. You are near Ohio University. Uh, this is by Massimiliano. Hmm. Interesting. Nice yeah. use of gradients. I like. I think Abstract. I prefer the gray on the white instead of on the green. Yeah. Personally. I'm a little biased against green, though, too. It is not my color. Just because? 
It doesn't look good on me. Oh, it doesn't look good on you. We have a strange relationship, gotcha. me and Green. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks. I can understand that. Uh, it's by Kimberly. Nice kind of diagonal motif going yeah, on. The repeat. Nice job, Kimberly. By Jaroslav. Really cool. I love Ooh. the exploded nature of the graphics. Like sublimated. Mm -hmm. It's all over. Follow me. Designer to designer conference. Nice. Awesome. We can have like promoters wearing that. Influencers. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the same submission. Ooh. Fun. It Colorful. reminds me of, there are like tourist t-shirts from Hong Kong that have the H and the K and it's filled sort with like letters that. like this. Yeah, that's nice. what it reminds me of. Yeah, but like a high fashion brand, Vetmont, made like a knockoff version of it. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, this looks like that. Nice job. It's by Helena. Create and do some sharing. Nice. This looks like Adobe branding. Like this is very <laughs> similar, so that's cool. So the reds. Mm-hmm. This is by Desmond. Ooh, sweatshirt. Yeah, you went above and beyond. I think that's really awesome. I think I prefer yeah. it without this light print, like maybe a little more simple, just this, but mm. love the colors in the background. Yeah. And then our final one by Jan Eric. My dog designed this t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, yesterday, Jan Eric did the My Cat Kern's Better Than You. Yes. Or my... I see we're banking in on our pets. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, Jan Eric. Great job, everyone. You have about 13, no, no, <laughs> 23 minutes left to get your submissions in. So, go to be.net slash live and click on the challenge tab. Nice. <laughs> thumbs up. All of the thumbs. Voodoo says, I really love the sweatshirt. Yeah, Desmond did a good job. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good sweatshirt? I have, yep, agreed. Especially in San Francisco. Yeah. Sweatshirt city. All right, so where are you working now? Kind of jumping around? Yeah, hopping around. So just kind of fiddling with the, the folds in here. Mm -hmm. And since we're sort of like up against it with time, being a little less <laughs> precious than I was here yeah. with how we're doing. So um, I had initially started this with a sketch. And so I'm kind of taking the, the shadows I had used for that and sort of using them as a, a more strong baseline instead of going back in and redrawing all of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right now that's what we're doing. We're just sort of mixing and matching as needed nice. and yeah like I said trying to make sure the illustration portion is not the only one that comes up with something unfinished so. <laughs> it's <laughs> finished when hoping. you say it's finished yeah I'm gonna have to yeah. start amputating her limbs that, yeah, we talked on. about that yesterday <laughs> that'd be awesome maybe she'll be yeah one, a truly Greco-Roman statue mm -hmm. and start chopping off limbs right that have suddenly fallen off of the passage of time. That would make sense. Creativity's been around. Yeah. I went over to the um, the Palace of Fine Arts today yes. and sort of checked out their statues. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a little bit of inspiration. Patterns. Yeah, it was neat. Very awesome. There's a lot of cool creative places in San Francisco. Yeah, they're hard to hit in a short window of time. So. Yeah, right. You have to come back. Do Guess more exploring. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Tool around town. There you go. Maybe go get that ramen after all. <laughs> Maybe. If you've forgiven them. Obviously not from that place. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, chat, we've got about, let's see, 50 minutes left. 45. So if you have any more questions for Tracy, this is your last in chance now. to ask. Yes. Feel free to follow her on social. Mostly just Tracy Ching at... Yep. Instagram, Twitter. There's nobody else. Mm -hmm. Just me. Yes, and you'll know her <laughs> because it's like a, a green icon, right? Or is it? Yeah, most of the time it's a sort of like a, a green seal of sorts. Mm -hmm. I was really like, I was bored of looking. As much as I loved my bacon logo, I got bored yeah. of looking at it. So I'm like, let's do something else. Change it up a little. And so, yeah, that's, that's where it went. Awesome. Simon, I just posted my design. Awesome. We will look at it in the next uh, little batch. How about that? I want to make a t-shirt. Should make it. Sounds fun. We all pivot. This would be a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it, could be. it really does have that 
graphic tee look to it. It's absurd. It's absurd and uh, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, and Eric says, I'm rolling around like BB-8. <laughs> yeah, <and> Eric. <laughs> oh, it's because he's overeaten. I see. <laughs> I was oh like, I, I appreciate that share. I don't know where it's coming from, but I, I appreciate you. And he's beeping and booping. Beeping and booping. Beep, beep, beep. Mm. It's a green patina. Yeah. Yes. Totally. It's faux copper. Yeah, it'd be awesome if this was actually etched into metal of some sort. Yeah, I've I've done that before with like wood I've had some of my designs engraved into like a um yeah just like laser etched into a wood panel oh yeah and so that's pretty fun I wonder if any of that's was, on your profile uh I think if you scroll down there's a Hellboy design oh sweet yeah let's find him love me some Hellboy <laughs> It's just so much good work. It's, it's down there. It's that it's one. This? Yeah. How did I know that was his hand? Just looked. Yeah. So what was the process for this? This is in wood, right? Yeah. So I, I created the um, vector uh, graphic in just one color. Mm -hmm. And then I sent that file over to um, the engraver. And then they, they laser etched it. So like directly into that, that mm -hmm. piece of wood. And then they rolled. Um, black ink on top of it to kind of give the oh. the stain some contrast mm -hmm. so wow that's awesome behold the right hand of doom reverb <coughs> says you can etch copper <coughs> with coca-cola <laughs> Ooh, fun i could see how that would work <coughs> oh no oh no it's happening this is where i die <laughs> Behold, the cough of doom. <laughs> All right, chat, who is still working on their submissions? I think I saw someone said they're still working. Who else? Who else? Manuel says, have you ever tried using the Surface Studio to design? No, I haven't. It looked super neat when it came out, though. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was tempted. Right. But um, not enough, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's it looks like a really neat tool. One day I'll get to fiddle with these things and and see. But until now, I'm very set in my ways. Right. I think <laughs> I feel like I've used specifically Wacom in the Intuos Pro for so long that mm. using other things is like, yeah, this is cool, but I need my, my Intuos. Yeah, and it's it's the it's the Windows. Like, oh, right? is that right? Right. Is that right, what you're right. talking about? The, mm -hmm. the Surface Pros, yep. the, the Windows one. And I've had, and this was a long time ago, and so it might not be true anymore, but I had some really bad experiences with like Windows in general with like some of the like compatibility issues and, and a couple oh. of other things. And so I, I just full stop stopped using Windows mm -hmm. products. But things change, people change. True. I grew up on Windows and then started using Apple when I got into college. Yeah. And I feel like whenever I'm on a Windows machine now, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Got nothing against it, though. No, no, no. I think it, it really 100% has its, its purposes. But yeah, I've just gotten so like embedded in the Mac world that it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to leave now. And like, because I think. You're paying for a lot of things that don't necessarily have to do with like affordability or compatibility, yep. but like it's user interface, right? The ease of it is yeah. just ridiculous. Like a new thing, like the drivers just automatically pop up or there, there's no install and yeah. it, it makes it easy. And you were just all really lazy and that's what happened. Right, we're used to it. All aesthetically <laughs> preoccupied mm -hmm. and then lulled in by the sense of ease. Yeah. Michael says, Michael Crabtree, weren't you one of our previous guests? Crabtree. Uh, that like he that. tried the Surface Studio last night and it was actually really awesome. The hinge was yes. quite nice. Yeah. The You mean like the folding? Yeah. And so, oh my God. It, the, the demo for that was amazing. It, that was, I think, the first time I was really like, maybe I need to go check out some, uh, some Windows products. 
And I think, I think they had one at Max. Mm -hmm. I can't remember where yeah. I saw the demo. Yes, there were some demos going on. Yeah, I was like, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, it's who knows. Very interesting. Logan says, just signed in. What are we supposed to submit and what for? Welcome, Logan. Thank you for coming to Adobe Live. It's a weekly show here on Behance. And if anyone else in chat is new, also, we are working on creative campaign this week. This is the last stream of the whole week, so this is kind of the wrap up. Uh, we had four designers and creatives creating the assets and the backbone and all of the design for a creative conference. And Tracy is the illustrator of the team and working on some imagery for the conference. Maybe a t-shirt design? Rush against the clock. The rush against the clock, yes. <laughs> uh, so we have challenged you, chat, to de design the other t-shirts for this convention. We have a template for you. If you want to go to be.net slash live, click on the challenge tab. And there's a Photoshop file there for you to use. You have 15 minutes to get those designs in. And there's also a Creative Cloud library that has assets and colors and anything else that you might need to get you started. Hi, mom. How you doing? Hi, Kathleen's mom. <laughs> she says, love the talent and creativity on display here. Ah, ah. <laughs> Stay warm over there. Oh, we're finally getting to the brush. Yes. <laughs> Her weapon. Yeah. Brush. How is she going to render it? I'm so curious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Cleo. Long question. All right, let me read it real quick. All right, so she's looking at your portfolio right now mm -hmm. and is wondering how you define shadows for crosshatching and portraits. Like in the Harry Potter design, do yeah. you reference from a photo photograph? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So we discussed this yesterday. And um, the day before. And the day before. <laughs> uh, so Hot I. Topic. Yeah, I can't just come up with uh, how a celebrity or a, a known personality's face works. <laughs> um, right. Uh, so I will often fudge the lighting mm -hmm. um, to an extent. Uh, but I need to know, you know, how, s you know, someone's face merges from, you know, the, the eye to the cheekbone and what have you. So I, um, I'm trying to recall, uh, I had an asset package for Harry Potter. I think it was, I don't think it was for the, like the actual, um, like film I was referencing. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of had to like take him back a little bit or push him forward. I can't quite remember right. um, in terms of like how he had aged for that oh. particular film. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the lighting is contrived. The ah. positioning of his face in general is not. Gotcha. Yeah, so hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, and it looks like you definitely, the way that you show light and shadow and render it is it looks like you break it down into shapes like geometric shapes mm -hmm. and then kind of go from there yeah a hundred percent it's it's always blocked out mm -hmm. um o over time i've sort and sort of been able to um create that blocking in my head um but i used to have to start out making like these really solid um shapes and then breaking them down to create the transition i wanted um, but yeah, mostly it's just editing. Um, it's learning uh, how many colors you intend to use for any um, any sort of given subject, and then you just break that down. So if I had four colors to work with for that silk screen print, I would you know do that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's it's a lot of just editing down, paring it down um, to a really simplified way, so that I'm not working with you know a high gradient or something like that. Definitely. Does that answer your question, Cleo? Let us know. Yeah, if not, let me know. Should. I'm happy to keep babbling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Voodoo Val says you have about 10 minutes until the challenge deadline. Yes, mm -hmm. 10 minutes. We have some submissions I can pop through really quick just to uh, get maybe get some inspiration for you who are still working on the challenge. So here is this. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Designer to designer. Ooh, create mm -hmm. and share. Ladybugs. 
Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Ladybugs. I was like, I've said an eyeball. Ladybug. So cool. Ladybugs believe. Tracy could read it. I could not. Right on to the next. This is by Simon. This is cute. Oh. <laughs> Create and share. If you take off this bottom half, it looks like a little face. It does. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm hmm. Nice symmetrical pattern there, Simon. By Jesse Robinson. Great share inspired. D to D. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Adobe Live. I'd like some Adobe Live t shirts. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Nice job, Jesse. This is by Dan, who was making tons of iterations yesterday. I love this rainbow. Ooh, yeah. Um, really trendy right now. Well, so. it kind of like harkens back to those like vintage like 70s and 80s shirts. Totally. Too, mm -hmm. So it's always nice. Yeah, that's where the trend is there. born from. No, I don't like that. <laughs> This is by Sam. Sam's always submitting with these cool 3D yeah. models. Nice job. I'd like to know what you use to build these, Sam. It's a Unity. Let's let us know. This is by Roland. Really cool use of different typefaces. Oh, nice. Mm, good colors. By Hafid. You can choose vector. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather bitmap. <laughs> I'm the bitmap. Dinosaur. Nice use of Adobe stock. Mm. By Majid. Create share. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. Lettering. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh font. Yeah. I'm not sure it really fits with the brand of the conference, but it's cool. I'm not certain I fit with the brand, so <laughs> I. Maybe outlier. Can't really fault anybody. True. <laughs> so this one is really pretty neat. It has all of the designer tools within oh, the D. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. It's got the mouse with the cord. It's got pencil sharpener, maybe some fixative or spray paint. I like it. Yes, I like that one too. Good, strong, simple, but strong. So nice job. We have one more to look at. My head says go to sleep. My heart says finish the design. Yes. Totally. I often find though when I do this and then I look at it the next day, I'm like, like I, I should have just gone to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Nice job. So those are the submissions we have so far. We'll look at more when the deadline finally hits at 2.30. So you have about seven minutes left. And please make sure that you get those submissions in uh, because we won't have another chance to look at them. And mm -hmm. we'd love to look at your work. Ooh. The fingers, they're so delicate. I'm looking forward to see how you render them. Yeah, I'm not certain we're going to have much time. <laughs> yeah. As much as I would like, right? It's right. gonna be a little bit more basic. Yeah, and since it is kind of the furthest forward thing, you might need not need to have so much. Yeah. It's not really in shadow. We will see. We'll see, we'll see. Is over overly ambitious in what I thought I was going to complete. So, yeah, and it's true that the style that you have, like, it's pretty intricate and it takes a, a long time to work through. Yeah, that's what happens when you're new. You're not appropriately prepared. No, it's not that you're new. <laughs> <laughs> it's that you just are real you're intricate. Hmm. It's a compliment. Mm -hmm. Sure. Cool. So we're going to do the giveaway a little bit early. How does that sound, chat? Mm -hmm. We'll do it before the contest submission is uh, the deadline hits. So we're going to be giving away the Adobe Illustrator lapel pin, enamel pin. Mm. So hot right now. So hot right now. <laughs> and then the Adobe mobile charger. Super helpful, Very really cool. Helpful when you actually charge it. Yes, when you actually <laughs> charge it, definitely. And it works really well, I've used it. It does. So all you have to do is be active in chat. Yes, giveaway hype for sure. Be active in chat, say something. You don't need to spam, but let us know uh, where you're from. Always love hearing that. Yeah. Say hello if you haven't said hello yet and uh, log in on Behance if you would like to participate. You can also find the challenge information on Behance. Go to the challenge tab at be.net slash live. There's five minutes left. Maybe you could throw something together really quick. 
Uh, and if you win, you could win a free year of Creative Cloud. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! The other Kathleen is from San Diego. Oh. Cool. At least we're not in the same city. <laughs> we're not an actual doppelganger. There's only room for one. <laughs> in this room. <laughs> in this room. Um, Carlos, how much does Tracy use layers and groups within her illustrations? An absolute ton. Um, normally, I would be doing a lot more um, grouping to kind of keep it separate so I can keep track of where everything is so that I can take those elements and sort of uh, find them easily and uh, make changes as needed. But um, in the interest of time, I've completely done away with <laughs> any, any hope of organization at this time. So, yeah, there. The organization is a really big part um, of my process, mostly because I have so many teeny tiny moving parts. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's a really big part of, of that process. It's um, a good question. Yeah, I don't know how how people would do this without organizing everything because you yeah. wouldn't. You just wouldn't be able to find anything. No. True. Be a lot of clicking, unclicking, selecting. Yeah, just like, was it this one? Head was it banging. This one? Yeah. Although I don't label my groups. I don't know if that's something that most people do. I tend not to label. Like, I'll label the layers, but I don't do, like, the individual groups where it says, like, arm mm -hmm. or head or left eye. Right. <laughs> it tends to just be um, sort of recognizable from the preview in yeah. the layers section. Right. So I tend not to, to do that. Do you want to present it? Yeah. No. Get in here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit me in the nose. It hit me in the cheek. Is our post-it genie? Yes, post-it gin. All right. So, chat. Do you want to know who won the giveaway? Let me know how excited <laughs> you are. This person is going to win an Adobe Illustrator lapel pen and a mobile charger. We've already given away this pencil. Pencil. No nope. pillow. <laughs> hmm. I think we have a new name. Interesting. Interesting. You can tell it's the last day. <laughs> All right. So the winner is, would you like to read the name? Oh, we were so excited on this post-it. Timothy Corbet. Corbett. Ooh. <laughs> it's probably Corbett with the double T and the E. Yeah. And there's an exclamation point after your name, which means so excited. We're really excited. So congratulations, Timothy. Congratulations. Yes, you are the winner of the lapel pen and the charger. And Adobe Live will be in contact with you in your Behance messages soon. So do not neglect them. Neglect. Unless you don't want your prize, then Unless I guess you, don't want it. you can give it to someone else. No, I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Timothy in chat? Let us know. Say hello if you are. Oh, he says, thanks, ladies. You're welcome, Timothy. You're welcome, sir. Got you. There are two minutes to get your submissions in. Please, if you're working on it, export it and upload it. Because if it gets past 2.30, we can't show it. Mm. Sad face. And we definitely want to make this decision as difficult as possible. <laughs> <laughs> hard on ourselves as we can possibly be. Mm -hmm. so it's almost the weekend. True. I know everyone's very excited. Any plans? Sleeping? Other than going home? Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a big plan. Mostly it's going home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my plan <laughs> is tomorrow going home and then being at home. Nice. I'm sure. I'm sure the, uh, the family will be relieved to Aww. have another set of hands. Yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to that, seeing the babies. I bet you miss them. I bet I they do. miss you. Is this your first time being away for so long? Yeah, I think this is probably the longest um, mm -hmm. I've been away since they were all born. Um, yeah, it was really hard Like to, I was like walking around outside um, and like every time I saw like a kid of my age, like my children's age, I'm just like, eh, no, you yeah. can't touch strangers' babies. Don't, don't touch strangers' don't kiss babies. The don't, children. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. Ooh, Robert, that's a great question. He's wondering how do you clip the ends of your shading? Um, clipping path or another method? How do I clip the ends you of my it, right? shading? Yeah. So you mean like, so the brushes are here? How do I like? get that to disappear, yes. is that what we're asking? Mm -hmm. So that's a clipping mask, yeah. Clis clipping masks are a really big part of what I do after um, blend tool and the custom brushes, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of um, get the right kind of transition or stop um, because 
there might be a way to get the the ends to do what I want them to do, but I haven't really had to find that with the, the method I've been using up until now. So clipping masks, big deal. <coughs> all right, that is the deadline for the challenge chat. We will be looking at all the submissions in just a moment when I get them opened. Thank you so much for submitting. There are tons of tabs open <coughs> in my browser right now. All right, so if you are new, we challenge you to create the t-shirts for this conference, this creative conference that these four designers are working on this week. So I have the newest and latest submissions open. I believe that this is a resubmit by Ashley. Maybe you updated something? Let us know in chat if you updated it. I don't see anything sticking out to me. Maybe you added these yellow lines. Let us know, Ashley. All right. It looks like ketchup and, and mustard. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> I like this color combination. Yeah, it's, it's really satisfying. It's a good one. Cute little icons. Nice job. And you can, it's like a team jersey. You're the web designer. Yeah. So this is by David. David, is this your first time submitting? I think you said that in chat. Oh, Create yeah. and share. Oh, funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like Definitely looks like that says and, but yeah, it does. I would not have seen that on my own. Mm -hmm. This is by Joe Cook. Joe, I feel like I've seen your illustrations before. Have you submitted before? Very oh, that's nice. Fun. Mm -hmm. okay. Two designers chatting with each other. Yes, it's David's first time. Gotcha. Fun, fun, fun. Cool. This is by Lorenzo. Ooh. Cool. Oh, nice. There's even a little map of San Francisco. Like that. This is by Ryan. Super cute little icons. Ooh, mm -hmm. I want to wear it. I know, me too. It looks like a baby onesie. Ooh, yeah. That'd be very cute. And Ryan, you're close to us. You're in Walnut Creek. Nice. Fun. Christina, this is really, really nice lettering, oh, I yeah. think. With that pencil for the A. Nice job. I like how you use the vertical um, logo for the back. Yeah, I like that. Oh. All right, and then we've got Devin Ward. Here's some scratchy scratchy D2D. We're scratchy all professionals scratchy. here. <laughs> I like that. I do like that. I'm personally a fan of artwork that looks like it was made by a child, but like it wasn't. That's like my aesthetic, so I like this. <laughs> Not saying that this looks like it was made by a child, but like it has that scribbly texture. The doodle, it, it's yeah. the, the doodle quality. Doodle look. Definitely. Oh, Devin, you used Adobe Capture. Awesome. Nice. Speaking my language. Extra point. Mm-hmm, it's by Naveen. Cool, it looks like a jersey. Like a biking it does. jersey. Create and share. Nice use of the um, copy on the sleeves. Little sleeve hits. This is Simon's updated uh, design. He did make it into a little face, like I said. <laughs> nice job, Simon. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. You cannot unsee it. it. And this is by Shelly. It's a cute little owl. Oh, a designy oh, owl. Mm -hmm. Design to share. Nice job, Shelly. Everyone did a great job. Uh, sorry if we missed any that we're in past the deadline. We might be able to show them, but they won't be eligible for the uh, challenge, unfortunately. So I'm going to narrow down this list, and maybe in about 10 minutes, we'll have Tracy pick a winner. Yay. Sounds Do good. It. Yeah, no problem, Simon. Thanks for submitting. And Simon, is it Simon or is it Simon? <laughs> Simon? I see a little accent over the O, so I would oh, love to know how it is. Yeah. Spell it out phonetically. Mm hmm. Ashley, darn it. We'll miss picking the winner. Gotta pick up my kiddos from school. Sorry, Ashley. Thank you so much for submitting. Your design is really strong. It's the Mondrian one, right? We liked it. 
<laughs> Christina, that was a real rush. Really? Do you get it in right at the last moment? I feed BRB, need to feed my cats. I feed those cats. <laughs> it's important to make sure they're fed. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they'll eat you. True. <laughs> You gotta, I don't trust cats. You uh, gotta remind yourself of that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust them. No. They're, uh, they're brutal animals. But I love yeah. them. They're my favorite animal. Yeah, it's But not... they're crazy. <laughs> you have to know the audience, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... your cat audience. Know your audience. <laughs> they will eat you. <laughs> uh. Anybody here from Buffalo, New York, asks Naveen. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Never been. Only been to New York uh, very briefly. But you're from Jersey, right? Yeah, originally. That's why I'm from the uh, Asbury Park area. Gotcha. If you know anything about Jersey. I've only been in the airport, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the airport. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know about it. Yeah. No, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, Adam wants to know, did you grow up with a lot of Art Deco pieces in your house? No, um, I did not. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, gravi I gravitated towards like turn of the century style of stuff. So we're looking oh. at like Victorian things, mm -hmm. and then yeah, Art Deco, Art Nouveau, all that stuff kind of spoke to me and how they handled their their like materials, right? Um, the lettering and the decoration, and the architecture, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's something that appealed to me. I guess just organically, that's how it came about. So, right. yeah, something I found and then latched onto, and that's what I ended up collecting. So I have like all of these like really old pieces of ephemera mm -hmm. um, that eventually came, became reference material um, once I started doing this kind of work, and so I'd I'd have it to look at and use as inspiration. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that uh, something I was interested in uh, directly informed. Um, the work that I was doing. Nice. What about you, Chad? Did things from your childhood inspire your future creative endeavors? Let us know. I think the thing that mostly inspired me was like video games yeah. from my childhood. My brother's playing video games. It's just like, oh, so that's why I do the things I do. <laughs> that's why I am like I didn't this. didn't know until this very moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christina wants to know, Tracy, is your family supportive of you going into a creative field? I almost became an accountant because of my parents. Thank goodness I didn't. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I I had a sketchbook before I was five. And so I don't think there was any illusion as to what I was probably <laughs> going to end up doing or what right. I would at least be interested in. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and I never got the... I don't know if it's maybe because of like the kind of kid I was. I was... Um, ridiculously and unnecessarily responsible as a kid. Um, <laughs> and so I don't know if they just weren't worried about it, but no one told me like, have a backup plan because right. I already have a backup plan. So yeah, I never got the talk um, about like, are you sure you wanna do it? Cause yeah. I think people just kind of always assumed that's that's where I was going to end up. But um, I know it's a struggle um, for, for some of you out there yeah. with expectation and, and the fear, right? Of like, if your kid's gonna be able to like, support themselves because, mm -hmm. yeah, BFA is not super useful in the real world right. unless you're going for a really specific vocation. So, um, right. yeah, I they were supportive, but um, I just think it was also due to the fact that, like, it never seemed like I was going to do anything else, um, most likely. So, right. yeah, there were no surprises there. I wonder if there's some sort of correlation between, like, what children's caretakers do for a living like if they don't have these like high powered like I must be successful jobs if maybe they're a little more open like do what you love yeah I don't know like my parents were mm. teachers and they're like we're doing this because we love it and it's important so do what you love and that's important that's interesting that's a really good question too mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm sure it has a bearing some of the time right either you're reacting to it because you saw how much like your parents may have hated their jobs or didn't or, or maybe it's not that much of a, a factor for some people either because mm -hmm. yeah my my family always tended towards the creative oh um, gotcha a lot of the ladies in the fam are really good at crafting yeah or, or baking or something like that mm -hmm. so um there was sort of like the the inclination 
I guess that already sort of existed amongst the family. Right. But um, yeah, I I think I'm the only one that ever made a profession out of it. Gotcha. So yeah, it'll be we're we're really interested to see what our kids end up doing because my husband is so like math and coding oriented, oh. and I'm so like art oriented. So it'll be interesting to see who wants to go where, right. you know, with what in, in terms of their career, so. So true, but they'll always have both influences, which is nice. Exactly, and, uh, and I don't, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I don't care, like the world is hard enough as long as they're happy and no one's mm -hmm. getting hurt, I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mom talk, real talk. Don't care what you do. <laughs> uh, Sharon, are you using AstroPad to draw in Illustrator? No, she is using an Intuos Pro tablet. Yes. By Wacom, the large size. Large one. Mm -hmm. Do you find that that's like too much workspace or do you use it all? It's a thing. Too much workspace. <laughs> um, like I would be overwhelmed with that amount of space. I, I don't, because I've been using it for so long, I don't even know what I'm doing over here because mm. it's just, it's now connected and wired yeah. through my brain. Um, I'm really interested to see what a switch over to something like a Cintiq would be where you're actually drawing yeah. the image because right now it's this like separated thing that's happening that I've I've learned over time to become accustomed to but yeah I wonder what that's like to do it directly onto the image you're working with but yeah, yeah I know right now it's the the tablet and that's what I've worked with um, pretty much with every single um, piece of work that I've done up to date has been done on some some piece of Wacom uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Same. I still, even years and years after using a tablet like this that's flat on the table, yeah. I have a hard time. Like, if I were on a Cintiq, it would be so much easier for me. Yeah, I believe it. Mm -hmm. I really do. And that, that was sort of the issue is, like, I was kind of unsure if I should, like, make the jump mm -hmm. to a Cintiq versus, like, doubling down again on the, um, the pad. But as we discussed, my, my old piece of equipment was Old, and mm -hmm. I wasn't sure that I knew what I was getting into, so I figured we would we would keep it simple. Yes. Um, for now, and then kind of just see how that went. So it's it's really not all that different, which is kind of nice. But yeah. I do. It's just better. Newer. More powerful. Yes. Yeah. Op. Um, Ryan wants to know: Is the Wacom tablet actually worth getting? I'm kind of on the fence about getting one. Yeah, that's it's a it's a hard thing to say unless I were like. I knew how you worked, right? Because it's sort of, it really depends. And so I I waited a long time until I could demo a Cintiq personally. I had a lot of friends who had the Cintiq while I was oscillating and I, I tried it out and I wasn't like immediately like, yes, I need to get this. So gotcha. I, I decided to go this way. So mm -hmm. I, I highly recommend if you can try someone's Wacom, I would do that. Um, yeah, just to out. kind of see, because it's it's an investment, and I, I don't totally. think you I don't think you'd like really regret it. But um, yeah, you might love like the the Windows Surface or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. as opposed to the Wacom. So it's really important if you can to try out the equipment, um, just because it's fun, and then also have somebody who knows what they're doing so they can show you. Because it's yeah. really easy to be like, I have no idea what I'm doing, and you think it's the the equipment versus just trying to adapt to that piece of equipment. Yep. So I, I highly recommend demoing um, wherever possible. Definitely. And buying if, equipment. if you don't need these kind of high priced uh, pieces of the equipment, like the thousands of layers of sensitivity and stuff, there's yeah. also brands that make these kind of things that aren't Wacom. There's, uh, I think it's Huon. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's H-U-I-O-N. There's Yanova, which makes yes. like a Cintiq mm -hmm. baby. That's what I use, and it's like not as nice as a Cintiq, but it's also a tiny fraction of the price. Yeah. So there you go. All right, it is 2.45, and maybe we can look at some of these t-shirt submissions yes. and pick a winner. Should do that. So this is by Majid, and this is by Kevin, and they came in a little bit late, so I just wanted to show them on the stream before we move on to the top options. So nice job. All right, so I come up with like a top 10-ish list for you to cool. pick from. The winner of this challenge will win one free year of Creative Cloud. And let's see who wins. This is by Simon, his updated design. I want the color palette. Oh, the scribbly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Evan, Christina's type, Ashley. Mm -hmm. so it's 
Really cool. And nice. Let's see if we can. Yeah, this is by Roland. Sweatshirt. Desmond with the sweatshirt. <laughs> yes, and the nice yellow coloring. This is by Shiva. Carla and Chris. Bjorn. Laura. And Majid. Any favorites really stick out to you? I really like Bjorn's. I really like Shiva's. Okay. Um, we'll look through the rest. Yeah. Such a hard choice. It's always such a hard choice because there's yeah. such a like a diverse collection of these really like mm -hmm. valuable <laughs> ways to interpret the brand. Totally. So we'll put Shiva and we'll put. Bjorn together. And then go back to the beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This I one? really like that one too. Cool. Because it, it works so well with the brand that like Jessica was working on. I totally agree. It's fun. It's poppy. So I really like Yeah, I think this is the closest to the actual identity. Yes. That okay. they've come so far. But, but it's still like different enough that it sets itself apart. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Nice. So out of these three, do you have a favorite? Yeah, I think we're going to go with um, Bjorn. This one? Yes. Awesome. Because um, I really, I really, really like the the you can do it because it stands on its own as like a phrase. Mm -hmm. It stands on, you know, it's just like great lettering, great mm -hmm. color. So I really like that. So congratulations, Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn, great job. I think the only critique I would have is maybe make this a little smaller. Yes, I agree with that note, but... Mm -hmm. um, the front is good. Yeah, it's a strong front. Is. Stands on its own. Really cool. You would wear it out of the convention. Like it's not just something you'd get at a convention exactly. and throw away. Which Agreed. which I always disliked when I would like get event t-shirts. It's just like I would never ever yeah. wear this. They become your pajamas <laughs> or your cleaning rags. Yes. But not this one, Bjorn. You are the proud owner of a free year of Creative Cloud. Congratulations. Yes. Adobe Live will be in contact with you. Um, either in email or in your Behance messages. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And we've got about 10 minutes left. So Yay. thank you so much everyone for tuning in this week to recap. We had four designers come in from all around the world, really, yeah. uh, to work on this creative campaign of this creative conference designer to designer from creating the motion graphics, the, the UX experience, the app, uh, the whole graphic identity and the story and also some illustrative um, work to go along with the whole story. What did Peter call it again? Um, the, the statue of design? I can't remember what he called it, but there's like some name. Statue of Creativity? I can't remember. It was like Statue of Liberty. Creativity. Yeah. Something of that nature. Yes. But thank you so much for being with us, chat. Um, Tracy, maybe you can... Cover yes. what you've worked on from day one. Yes. And let us know what points you've gotten to. Okay. So. so wow, we, I love that yellow. Yeah, I wanted to fiddle with colors. And so that's sort of the nice thing. We've got the, the global colors set up so we can kind of like fiddle with what color she is and what color the background is yeah. and all that good stuff. So. It looks so like wealthy. If you guys want to Spensive. see some color combos, feel free to throw it out there. Oh, so yeah, yeah um, so we got most of her completed, I guess. Um, I agree. Need that paintbrush to be altered, but we we ran out of time. So yeah. it is what it is. So yeah, <laughs> uh, to, in summation, we we made some custom brushes for the background mm -hmm. for the pattern, including that great logo um, that Christine designed, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we have some of that. Uh, hash mark going on yeah. that great like green and yellow I think I might like to put that black in there if I could right somewhere take that time but yeah the the statue of creativity is that what we were mm -hmm. referring to so yeah she's a pretty little lady even though she didn't get the time she needed right but um right yeah. anything else we should talk about in relation to her maybe you could show really quickly your technique for blending the hatch marks yeah so i think that's the sure. number one question we've really gotten and kind of yes. to um yeah i will i will walk it i will walk us through that um so let's get rid of these layers get a nice fresh clean pot so um yeah if you guys end up going back to the the second day where i kind of go over how we can make custom brushes uh I have them set up here where I have a double tapered line and then one that kind of tees off flat and one that's rounded on an end mm. and then tapers. And so um, they are set up to just make a brush mark so it follows um, the stroke that I make uh, to make that taper. 
And so most of the time what I'll do if I'm trying to set up a contour is set up anchor points. So things that it that the algorithm can follow uh, to decide how much of a curve you want, how much mm -hmm. of a line. And so there there is a shortcut, but to show you just where it is, you go to object, blend, and then you make once you select the strokes you want to make the blend out of. So the shortcut is option command B. And when you go into blend options, you can decide if you want a specific distance mm -hmm. between those anchor points, steps, and then uh, it'll also do color. Right. So if I had picked different colors for different strokes, it would have done that. Nice gradient. So, yeah, if we do that. So let's say that this completes the, the contour I was looking for for that shape. Um, now to achieve the sort of petering out that I tend to get, which creates that cross-hatching effect. Mm -hmm. um, I just pick whatever the background color is. So again, we have our anchor oh. points. Um, I'm gonna choose our double tapered line here. And what I'll do is I'll select whatever color I want cut out of it. So in this case, it's the, the white of the background. And we do option command B to create that blend between mm -hmm. those two strokes. I probably want to go back in here and I'll up that. Yeah. And so to kind of give the effect, so we're going to bring this point for this one anchor down to create more of a, a gradient between those, what ends up being a sort of stippled effect. Um, yeah. And so, so then what actually is in existence are these, these two colored strokes. So I'm going to show you the background here. So these are the sense. two sets of, of lines that we'll use to create that, mm -hmm. that effect. But um, when viewed, you get that sort of, that, that gradient that's not actually a gradient, just mm -hmm. the appearance of one. And so uh -huh. trade secret right there, bam, you are welcome. <laughs> and with that, we're done, no, just get in. <laughs> just drop the stylus and walk out of here. Yeah, but I think that's um, really important in where like the grouping and the layering comes in handy. Yeah, especially when you're working with more than one color. Yes. That's where it gets tricky. That's where mm -hmm. the clipping masks come in handy. Totally. Um, then you sort of decide how much is exposed and how much isn't. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yes. Michael says, behold, the power of Illustrator. Yes. Adobe Kadabra. Yes. I agree. That was a total um, pro tip. Is it possible to attach the blend option window to the toolbar? You know, I've never tried. It's something that did occur to me mm -hmm. recently that I probably should look into. But yeah. yeah, Rob, if you find out, I would love to know that. But I, I haven't found the, the menu to be attached to right. it. Right, so it's not an actual like it's not tool. A, it's, it's not like a tool tool, it's, it's like in the bar. It's like an option or a Well, I actually effect. think it is in the bar. Now oh, is it? I think about it. Yeah, the blend tool is here. Oh, then there you go, there it yeah, is. Yeah, you double click it, but I don't, I don't think you can actually like attach it to be like these, right? Yeah. Where you can get the options out of here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if anyone knows that, I'd love to find out. But yeah, so far mm -hmm. I haven't found that wow. you can just keep it up there. That would be great. Kevin could. says, streams are always great, but too short. Kevin, glad to have you. Yes. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for being uh, flexible with us with our shorter streams this week. Let us know what you think about that. It's been a whirlwind for us. Definitely yes. not easy to design in 90 minutes. But so worth it yes, to be here with challenge. you guys. Oh, yay. Thank you, Tracy, for being here with us. Really enjoyed it. Um, if people want to get in contact with you, how would they go about doing that on social? Yeah, social media I'm around on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Tracy Ching. It's really hard to miss me but you can also go yes. to my website tracyching.com all of the links are are in the about page so perfect awesome chat thank you for being here this week we really appreciate you and come back next week tuesday through thursday starting at 9 a.m we can't wait to see you thanks everyone be thanks, safe this guys. weekend bye bye